Joan of Arc was born during the Hundred Years' War. A peace treaty soon after she was born disinherited the then Prince Charles and made Henry V king. Her mother, Isabel Ramey, taught her faith in the Catholic Church. When Joan was 13, on an afternoon in 1425, the voice came to her for the first time. It told her to save France and restore Charles as the rightful king. The voice came from the church and there was a lot of light. The voice of St. Michael told her that Saints Catherine and Margaret would come to her and to do as they told, as it was the Lord's command. Joan spoke to Charles and convinced him to let her lead an army to Orleans against the Anglo-Burgundians. The mission succeeded, Joan's fame grew, and Charles was crowned King of France. Joan was captured defending a town. She had fallen off her horse, and so she was outside the town gates when they closed. She was put on trial by the Anglo-Burgundians for around 70 counts of witchcraft heresy and dressing like a man. She was released from captivity after one year after she signed a document saying she had never received divine guidance. However, soon after she was released, she wore men's clothes again and was burned at the stake in May of 1451. Even before her name was cleared in 1451, Joan was a legend, becoming a symbol of fortitude and national awareness for political causes that continues to this day. This teenager had a profound effect on the politics of her country and the 100 years war over only six years. Who knows what would have happened if she had lived longer.